Child News presents News on the March. Since the entire movie industry is on strike, there isn't much news in the world of entertainment, except to say, everyone's angry. I hate you! I hate you more! So, as this standoff allows the robots to move in while nobody's paying attention and gain a foothold to destroy us all, we might as well discuss some news about toys. Super 7 has announced they are re-releasing their Silverhawks Ultimates, except this time with the chrome deco everyone said they should have had in the first place. At the time, Super 7 owner Brian Flynn claimed it wasn't possible to put the chrome on the figures. Bullshit. The new shiny finish has increased the price of the Hawks by over $10, but Copper Kid has still not been announced for either the chrome or the flat-colored range of characters. Until the Copper Top is locked in, either choice is a risk. Jada Toys is taking Street Fighter II figures to the next level with the legendary challengers for the classic arcade game. So far, they've announced three of the cast members. Ryu, Fei Long, and Chun-Li. The quality looks impressive, and fans highly anticipate the next announcements in this range. Can me anyone? Easy job. NECA has upped their game with the latest set of Mirage-style Ninja Turtles. We can now finally recreate that famous poster from the 1980s that fronted the infamous Nintendo cartridge. You remember, the game that taught us better than our parents that life isn't f***ing fair. Mattel has completely lost their minds with the Masters of the Universe Origins line, charging $40 for Moss Man, a single figure that, while arguably could have been part of their deluxe range, has been elevated to royal status with a King's Ransom price tag. Today we discovered that getting what you want isn't always a good thing. When Jada Toy Street Fighter figures are only $24.99, seeing this gouging from Mattel elicits only one response. Go flock yourself. This has been Manchild News for August 2023.